What up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, I don't know how this is going to go, but we are going to attempt to cork a wood bat and see how we hit with it. Let's get it. All right, folks, to make this happen, I've bought two bats for $30 each at Dick's Sporting Goods. We have two Louisville Slugger 3 Series 34-inch, 31-ounce ash bats. The reason I got ash today, back when corking bats was like actually a thing and people would use that to cheat, it was like the 80s and 90s, so people only used ash bats, right? Maple wasn't even a thing yet until kind of Barry Bonds and Sam Bat ushered that in in the late 90s, early 2000s. So if you guys don't know, corking a bat is the act of actually hollowing out the inside of a wood bat, taking out a bunch of the wood with the intent to make the bat a lot lighter, and then filling up that empty space with cork like the cork of a wine bottle or something like that and ideally that's just going to make your bat a lot easier to swing and some people think that really really impacts and significantly improves the performance of your bat so we're going to try to do that today i don't really know how to do it but we are going to try so we're going to take you guys back to last night when i was corking this thing at my house it was a mess but we got it done all right folks construction time we we're corking this thing i've got my plug-in like $30, $40 drill. Then we have these very intimidating looking drill bits. I think this is what you use. We're gonna cork this with wine corks. We've been working on getting these over the past few months secured in place. Do not try this at home. Please do not try this at home. Oh, uh, eyewear, I forgot. Protective safety glasses. These are clearly very protective. All right, we're gonna start here. It's kind of working, I think. <laughs> Check. It smells like a campfire. Ooh, we did some damage there, folks. That's a lot of damage. All right, let's see if this is gonna work at all. We have one cork. Boop. <laughs> Dang it, we aren't even one cork deep. We need to at least get like three corks worth. Nice. Oh, that did a bunch. Heck yeah, we're getting there. Cork check. Boom, baby. We are officially a cork and a half deep. Let's go. All right, look at that. Look at that freaking crater in the bat. What else can you ask for? <laughs> All right, so let's see how much weight we shaved off of this thing. This is one pound and 14 ounces, so exactly 30 ounces on our uncorked regular wood bat here. All right, then our corked bat here, we have one pound and 12.5 ounces. So we have a full 1.6 ounces off of this thing, and that would make it a 34 inch, 28.4 ounce bat. I'm assuming when we add the cork back in here and everything, it's gonna give it another half ounce or so back, but we should end up with a bat that's a full ounce lighter. It's literally gonna be a freaking 34 drop five. So let's fill this thing up. I would consider that a successfully hollowed out altered bat. Now let's try to fill it with cork. That's the part I'm very not certain about. Let's go try it out. All right, let's see what we can fit in this thing. One cork. Oh, dude, this thing's deep. Let's go. Two corks, about three corks. We might need to saw one. It's gonna be like two and three quarters. Now we just need a way to kind of seal it up. All right, so I think there's better ways to do this, but I have Gorilla Super Glue and wall hole filler. So we're just gonna try these here. I'm just gonna freaking load this thing up with super glue, lightweight, super adhesive. Sorry, hon, I'm gonna use all of our super glue. Oh yeah, that'll freaking stick, baby. I'm gonna hold it down for a minute. So that's how we're looking, folks. <laughs> All right, super glue is in there, and then I'm kind of filling the holes up with like some extra sawdust. I don't know about you, but that's looking pretty good to me, boys. Spackling nail hole filler here to smooth it on out. 
couple finishing touches. All right, folks, we have the spackling, the super glue, and the cork in there. We have a corked bat, ladies and gentlemen. All right, folks, so here's the final result. We have one corked bat and one not corked bat. So you can see we have the spackling in there to kind of hold it in place. I really, really hope this holds up. I'm not 100% confident it will. Uh, to start out, we're going to hit with the regular bat just to kind of set a baseline and see how it performs. Then we will try the corked bat and I hope it holds up. First things first, I want to see if JT and Matt can notice the difference in the swing weight here. All right, JT, I'm going to hand you one of these bats. You're going to swing it. I'm not going to tell you if it's the corked bat or the uncorked bat. Then I'm going to give you the other one. You're going to have to guess which one is which. Tell me if you notice a swing weight difference. Just don't look at the end I'll of it. Close my eyes. Okay, feels pretty light. Yep, take this. Give me that bat. Is that lighter oh, or heavier okay. or the same? Heavy. You think that's the uncorked bat? Yeah, it is. Let's <laughs> go, baby, it worked! Okay. Tell me how that swing weight feels, then I'm gonna give you the other one here. Light. Nice and light, all right. Okay. okay, trade me out. All right, tell me if this bat's lighter or heavier. Oh, that's light. <laughs> yeah! Yes, sir! <laughs> all right, folks, so at a glance, our experiment worked, and I successfully made the bat lighter. Now let's see if it will stay intact. Let's hit. All right, folks, our regular uncorked bat, the Louisville Slugger 3 Series 34 inch Ash. This video idea was inspired by my personal favorite YouTuber, the man Mighty Goat. Go give him a subscription, boys. I love that dude. Ooh, oh, that that's nice and loud. Come Get on, going. ball. Ah. All right, folks, we got a special guest hitter with us today, Matt Bergevin, uh, Santa Barbara City College, and then Fairfield University D1 commit. Congrats, brother. Uh, thank you. Oh, oh yeah. First cut. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, short hop. <laughs> See, I told you, it plays huge to left. It field. really does. Hamate bones are temporary, dingers are forever. Should we put that on a shirt? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. How about that? <laughs> oh, for sure. That's a sick <laughs> Let's go. Oh! Jay, team. It's like a half swing. Short hop. Oh! That's Ooh. so loud, bro. Ooh! Oh, very top of the fence. All right, dude, this is like shockingly decent. For 30 bucks, I'm kind of happy. Boy! Laser. Got rung up a little bit, too. If the bat stays intact, I'll do exit velo testing. Okay. I just don't know if we're going to get that far. Ooh. It's one of those bats that sounds a lot better than it actually does. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That was nice. Oh, oh boy. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Oh. 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 All right. So <laughs> barrel is like top of the fence with the regular bat. Yeah. Oh. That hey, was hit pretty hey. good. Get out, ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Yep. These $30 bats are very hit or miss though. I've swung some horrible ones. Woo! Yeah, that thing, it feels all right. For $30, that's so good, dude. If you need a bat for like one game, use it. Oh, go for it. Yeah! Whoa. All right, kind of everything hurt my hands just because it's such a low density light ash bat. But it's decent, guys. I mean, I, I was hitting the ball hard. It's nice and loud. It's time, boys. The corked bat. There's a chance either this snaps in half first swing or you see three wine corks just shoot out the end. We'll slow mo it if it does. But I don't know. I'm a little, I'm more confident than you guys. I think this might go all right. First hack with the corked bat done by yours truly. Oh, I'm nervous. Let's go. Oh, not swinging at that. Not swinging at that. Come on, John. Oh, baby! Let's go, ball! Boom! Oh, my God. What? And it is absolutely intact. Dude, that felt like a 3428. <laughs> that felt way better. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That feels really good. Oh, <laughs> this feels awesome. <laughs> I think it worked. All right. Oh. Come on, ball. Nah. Oh, oh wow. that was hands. Let's go. Woo. That's with the sound. It's sort of breaking up a tiny bit, but we're chilling, boys. That's going to last at least another round. Wow, that's off the end, one handed. Guys, I did it. <laughs> I freaking did it. <laughs> oh, Ooh. wow. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this is oh. so light. Woo. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get one more in the air, then I'll be good. <laughs> Your bat speed is okay. stupid. Like, I, I really thought it would make it like ring up my hands a lot more. The sweet spot feels smaller. It feels the exact same, just way lighter. Oh, oh buddy. Daddy. get out, ball. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> First Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. The cork bat! <laughs> oh, oh, that feels really good. Oh. Jeez. Jeez. That's a piece, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no! That made a bad sound. That sounded like it broke, dude. I, that was middle, middle barrel. <laughs> Why'd that sound so bad? No, feel that. Okay, it freaking broke on the inside. Feel that giant freaking dent. Oh. It caved in, dude. Oh, it freaking right caved there. in. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It just like collapsed Ooh. almost. I, I knew I should add more cork. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, the fans need to know durability aside, uh -huh. <laughs> if you could cork your bat, if it was legal and you had actually somebody to do it well, is it better? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it actually works, 100%. dude. Let's go. It feels like you're swinging super low density wood, which it still is, but you still get the durability in the handle. So it feels like a drop five in the barrel, but it's still. It essentially just turns it into a drop five, yeah. dude. Noticeably better than the freaking regular yeah. 34, man. Ooh, that's a pretty good barrel. 88.6, that's <laughs> not a very good one. It's <laughs> so loud though, 88 flat. Oh, watch, that's gonna be low 90s. Oh, 94, seven, bro. Right, there we go. Can the corked bat get her done? I believe in my own carpentry skills. Let's go. Oh, that was a little bit on the hands. 92.5. So that felt like the 88 mile an hour hit. Oh no. Oh no. It's splintering. 93.7. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna beat it so easy. 96.5. All right, boys, we got the velos we were looking for, but at a price. So first damage report, there is a vertical crack going through the entire bat. The wine corks are fully exposed. Our super glue's holding it together though. And then on the hitting side of the barrel, that wood is just absolutely giving out. There's not much life left in this. I mean, that's what you get by buying a cheapo ash bat, but hey, the handle held up and we popped a freaking 97 velo. Let's go, baby. All right, folks, I honestly can't believe it, but mission successful. The corked bat trick actually worked. Uh, I will say though, the cork in the barrel didn't at all make the barrel like bouncy or anything. It was purely just making the bat lighter and giving us a lot more bat speed. And while maintaining the same type of hitting surface while still making it lighter, we were just able to hit the ball harder and further. And really more than anything, just get the barrel on the ball more consistently. We effectively turned this thing into a drop four or a drop five. And a friendly reminder, do not do this at home. If you get caught with a corked bat, you will probably get kicked out of your league. This is just a fun, entertaining video for you guys. Just to 
show the effects of a corked bat and why it is now illegal. But guys, it freaking works, honestly. Like, I did a horrible, horrible, just throw together job of corking a bat, and it was a noticeable improvement. But yeah, between these two bats, man, a $60, very well spent. We appreciate you guys hanging out today. If you like the video, drop a like, subscribe to the Baseball Bat Bros. And if you guys want to help support us, you can check out our merch over at baseballbatbros.com. We'll see y'all next time. Peace out.